Why do we love junk food? No junk food. Only healthy food for Om Sum. Oh, Om Sum. We love junk food because manufacturers design it to activate our brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc. <laughs> this excites our taste buds, thus activating our brain's reward system, making us feel good. Also, junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber. It doesn't fill us. So, we keep on eating, and thus we end up consuming more calories leading to obesity, diabetes, huh? etc. Hmm. What are boogers? I know, I know, they are my friends. Oh, um, some. In order to understand boogers, we need to first learn about mucus. Mucus is huh? the slimy, sticky substance which is produced by tissues in our nose, mouth, sinuses, throat, as well as our digestive tract. Hmm. Mucus helps catch harmful viruses, dirt, germs, and pollen, and thus protects our lungs. Hmm. Tiny hairs inside our nose called cilia move the mucus along with the trapped stuff towards the front of our nose. Now when we sneeze or blow our nose, the mucus comes out. If some mucus along with the debris remains in the nose, then it starts to dry out and clumps together and finally becomes a booger. Hmm. Why does our huh? foot fall asleep? Nah, entire omsum falls asleep. Oh, omsum. Nerves are like huh? cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. <laughs> Now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. As a result, the connection between our brain and our foot is cut off. Hence, it feels like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. Why do we have moles? Simple. Because Om Sum likes them. Oh, Om Sum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes huh? these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. Huh? How do we puke? Simple, like this. Oh, um, some. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, huh? our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. Does an octopus huh? have nine brains? Nah, only Amsum has nine brains. Oh, Amsum. An octopus has a decentralized nervous system, with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, and control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. Why do we dream? We don't dream. Our brain dreams. Oh, awesome. One theory suggests that we dream to fulfill our wishes. It states that we are not able to express all our thoughts consciously. Hence, some of them find their way via dreams. Another theory called threat stimulation suggests that dreams are basically a defense mechanism. For example, nightmares put us in threatening situations, thus allowing us to practice our fight-or-flight response. Some people also believe that dreams don't huh? really mean anything. Hmm. How do mirrors work? Huh? Simple. There is someone behind them. Oh, I'm <laughs> some. Firstly, visible light, or sunlight, is made up of seven different colors. 
A mirror consists of a glass surface in the front, and behind it is an extremely smooth and thin metal film. Now, when light falls on the mirror, it passes through the glass surface and reaches the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colors of light. Instead, it reflects back all of them. As a result, we can see ourselves in the mirror. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple. By calling the clouds. Oh, um, some. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. <laughs> hmm. Can blind people huh? dream? Not just blind people, even zombies can dream. Oh, I'm some. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. Hmm. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since huh? birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. Why do we have a belly button? Nah. Om Sum has just one button on his head. Oh, Om Sum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Why do we have different eye colors? No big deal. Om Sum's eyes are multicolored. Oh, Om Sum! The colored part of our eye is called iris. Iris contains a pigment called melanin. Melanin is of two types, phyomelanin and eumelanin. The color of our eyes is dependent on the amount and type of melanin produced. If we have more melanin with higher concentration of eumelanin, then we will have darker eye color, such as brown. However, if we have less melanin with higher concentration of phyomelanin, then we will probably have blue or green eyes. How tall can we grow? Simple. As tall as a giraffe. Oh, um some. The genes which we inherit from our parents will make us grow approximately as tall as our parents. Hmm. Also, factors like nutrition, physical health, hormones, etc. also affect our height. Now, if we grow taller than what we are at present, then we would require much larger bones. Also, the amount of blood in our body would be more, thus making it hard for the heart to pump so much blood. Hmm.